Hey guys, I'm Sarah, I'm Caitlin, and we are your best friends. Welcome to our channel. Today we're doing another back to school video. What life is like at the University of Florida. Yes. Before we get into it, subscribe. Subscribe to the video. So, why are we doing this video? We just know that a lot of incoming freshmen are wondering what to expect yeah. with college. Just curious what college life is like. We're gonna answer all the little juicy details, even if you're not gonna go to UF. It's gonna give you a pretty good idea of what college is like, what big university, SEC school, things yeah. like that is like. So definitely stay tuned. We may be all the tea. There's gonna be some things we mentioned that are little, but they actually really matter. Or not that they matter, but they t they have a role in your the year at college. So we're going to be talking from the smallest little things to your biggest burning questions. But I feel like because this is going to be such a good juicy video, we might as well get right into it. So please subscribe to our channel before we jump in and join our friend group. We'd love to have you. Yes. First, let's talk about getting involved on campus. How do I get involved when I'm nervous or shy? At the University of Florida, they give you every day you're going to be getting emails of like social events and ways mm -hmm. to get plugged in. Go to them. And by the way, every single student is just like you. Sometimes people don't have friends to go with. There's, I remember going to these social things, mm -hmm. being nervous. Oh my goodness, I'm alone. So many girls and guys went alone. Like, so it is normal. so socially acceptable at UF to like go to these things by yourself and talk to people. Like, you have to do it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Yeah, literally apply for things, sign up, join things. You're gonna get emails. There's things called yeah. involvement fairs where there's just people in clubs. Do intramural sports, like club sports. Like literally just do what's fun. There's so much at UF. There's so over a much. thousand clubs. Guys, it's insane. So yeah. that's one great thing about UF. You will find something you like. I've heard a lot of people say, I'm shy. The truth is they're shy of people out here still making a way, still showing up to things. You're fine, you're fine, just go. Just you just gotta go. Show up. How do people dress at UF? What's the fashion like? I was so curious about this because I loved fashion and I wanted to have the best outfits for class every day and bring just the right clothes. Well, for people like that, I have unfortunate news for you. In most of my classes, most people dressed like they were homeless people. This is the common look is just the big t-shirt, like sorority Greek life t-shirt, running shorts and like sneakers if you're a guy, literally just like a t-shirt and shorts. Either that or people were in like suits and business clothes because they're going to interviews mm -hmm. and they were doing big things. So you can dress up for class. I did not, I brought like all these cute outfits like I was gonna do that and I just ended up like conforming to the pattern of the school and yeah. just like dressing super casual. So I would say at UF, it's very casual. There's so many people there. It's so rare that you really like often are like constantly seeing people that you know. No one really cares what you look like, which is That's a good thing. thing and a bad thing. See? In that it doesn't matter technically. Yeah, you could have a good day and see a cute guy and then you may never see him again. Yeah, and when I was at camp, I mean, you're in the swamp. Yeah. That's what they call it, you're in the swamp, especially the the first semester, like fall semester, we're just leaving those summer swampy times. Yeah, you can dress up cute some days, but sometimes, unless that's just how you dress up every day, sometimes it feels like, for what? Because you just walk around, get sweaty, go to classes, la la la. So, I'm sure you dress up a few mm -hmm. times, but it, maybe it's if you had an event. Other than that, you end up just like wearing your chill athleisure clothes. That's what I would wear. Mm -hmm. Also, you do it. walk a lot. So, yeah. practically, you don't end up wanting to walk to class and like jeans and yeah and, yeah definitely don't recommend the hobo look that's just not a thing but comfy athletic athleisure -y. i did the hobo look a few times what is a hobo look then it just means like messy like you're just wearing like a big t-shirt and shorts that's not hobo to me all right hobo is when you're wearing pajama pants no and no. a t-shirt no no i've pajama never seen pants. a hobo caitlin Never seen a hobo wearing right. nice shorts in a, in a semi-cute t-shirt. You guys get what I mean, all right? Glad we actually, I'm glad we discussed the hobo look on here then. Okay. <laughs> moving on, moving on. <laughs> Speaking of how people dress and how you walk around a lot at UF, that yeah. begs the question, you know, how do you get around campus? Is Literally. UF super spread out? Because some colleges are like, you, you need something to get around. Yeah. Can you walk? Can you drive? 
what does transportation look like at UF? Mm -hmm. Do I need to bring my car? Etc. Yeah. Okay, there's three main modes of transportation. Car, bicycle, bus. And scooter. And scooter. Sorry. And walking. And walking. Bye. And skateboarding. Yeah. <laughs> Not as common, but it's there. Yes. University of Florida is very spread out. It's like a, a, a mini town in a sense, I would say it's not like the core campus is like walkable. Yes, that's the thing. The, it's not like a town. So it's very walkable, yeah. but there's obviously a lot on the outskirts, so it looks very intimidating. Like yeah. you can't walk it. But like if you live on campus. Which is why having a car for college at UF, you do not drive from class to class. Yeah, you're, either you're never going to use that car. No, you're either walking to class, scooter into class, bike, biking to class. Like cars. A lot of freshmen, and you're probably gonna touch this, they leave their car at home, or if you're doing an apartment, whatever, whatever. The parking is also really bad for cars. Yes. Which is why everyone just ends up getting scooters if you do have to get around because the parking is just better. Mm -hmm. So if you're debating between like bringing a car, buying a decal, like it, you're never just, you know, gonna drive to class. Like there's no yeah, parking outside your class. Cars is just for groceries and doing out of school things. Yeah. Um, but I took the bus a lot at yeah, the beginning. You experience with that. And the bus is great because if you're like nervous of getting lost, the bus has a route system and there's a certain app for yeah. the bus system at the University of Florida. And it's gonna drop you off at all the main stops and buildings. And if you're intimidated, like I don't know how to bike there, I don't know how to get there. You get on the bus and the bus is going to drop you off. And the bus system can be intimidating. I mean, it's a weird thing if you've mm -hmm. never gone on a bus. Yeah, it might be scary. Mm -hmm. So for the bus, though, it's a great hack if you want to like learn about the campus or if you just feel like not biking somewhere, um, you take the bus. But I will say, for UF, the people mainly who took the bus were not those who were living on campus, for the most part. It was the people who yeah. lived in apartment complexes around... Trying to get to campus. Yes. So I lived in an apartment off of campus, so the bus would pick me up outside of my apartment complex and bring me to campus. That's definitely a mode of transportation, and don't think that nobody uses the bus. The buses get so used at UF. They're extremely helpful, so don't be intimidated to try it out. Yeah. My first year, just so you know, I did not bring my car, and yeah. I never found a use for it. If I ever wanted to go, even like- A use for your car for Yeah, the like I didn't feel deprived because yeah. I didn't have a car. My second year, when I moved into my sorority house, sorority row is a little further back, so having a scooter was definitely necessary because it was a bit too much walking. But if you're gonna live on campus, you don't really need a scooter or a car your first year and you'll be fine. Yeah. Also, I brought a bike. I can't say that I... You used, used your bike, no? I, I used it the first few, like, two weeks that I had it and then, like, it, it fizzled out. So What'd you use? What did I use? Did you just walk? Yeah, I just walked everywhere. We should talk about scooters because scooters is, like, a huge thing at UF. Mm -hmm, which we... Yeah, we touch on it a little bit, but like you're gonna be freaked out when you go to UF if you're gonna tour or something and you just see like scooters is lining a, the roads. And that is not usual. Like FSU, Florida State, you they don't, don't like a lot many. of campuses are not scooter heavy. UF is a campus that like thrives off of scooter life. Like yeah. this is what every other kid has is a scooter. They are extremely helpful. That's why. Like mm -hmm. if you have a scooter, you barely need to use your car. You can use it for everything. Definitely, if you're gonna live off campus it's necessary because like it's or you'll take the bus and yeah not the scooter like i said freshman year living on campus didn't really need a scooter because you're yeah. so close but if you're gonna live further away it's the only way you can like park right in front of the library park for in front class. of your classes like yeah, that's, that's why true. everyone has it so it's true i would recommend that at some point but mm -hmm. don't worry about it right away i know and also a lot of parents freshman year say no you can't have a scooter because they're dangerous mm -hmm. which that's so valid on your parents mm -hmm. but then eventually like they give in. And scooters range around like 750 to all the way to like $2,000. Yeah. Now, let's talk about housing. Does everyone live on campus? Yeah. What's it like living in a dorm? What are the dorms like? All that tea. My freshman year, I lived in a dorm. What was the name of the dorm? Mallory Hall. It was an all girls dorm, which most people do co-ed. I didn't choose that life. It just... Can you spit out some of the names of the freshman year dorms? There was Mallory... There's a lot. There's like Rawlings, Rawlings. Broward. Yeah, I just want to hear some of the basic ones. There's like the Springs, but those are the okay. three basic ones. Okay. And I lived in a triple, so actually my triple 
triple was not supposed to be a triple room. It was like a normal size room, but they just like bunked up on one side. So I had a really small room, but I was a tour guide. And one statistic I know is that 97% of UF freshmen live on campus their first year. It is the best way to make friends. I know dorm life is not always the most glamorous. The people that I've met that lived in an apartment their freshman year honestly felt kind of left out. Yeah. They had a lot more trouble meeting people. The people that I made friends with were like right from my dorm. In the beginning, like it's so helpful. So dorms like might not, like are UF dorms the most bougie? No. Yeah. But are that's you gonna college. Make, yeah, that's just part of the experience. You're never mm -hmm. gonna do it again great way to make friends yeah and obviously if you have your own personal reasons for not wanting to dorm and you do you like if you don't want to but if you're wanting to do that typical thing go all out and do that freshman mm -hmm. um dorm lifestyle and at uf it really is like you said she was a cicerone a tour guide at uf you'll get to know it that's a really high honor and privilege to be a cicerone at the university mm -hmm. of florida and yeah a lot 97 percent live on in dorm rooms um and then after that it's super typical that people that start vow. to trickle into either they're going to do Greek life, which you do not have to do Greek life, mm -hmm. or you um, do an apartment. Gainesville is so apartment complex heavy. Like yeah, there's, there's so many, so many choices, so many really nice choices, different price options. And yeah, after your freshman year, most people just do an apartment. Some people do a house, but that's like if your parents are good with the house, that's a whole different thing. Then you do your apartment and then you scooter to class. You scoot, yeah. scoot to class or you bike to class or you bus to class. And that's the lifestyle kind of. And speaking of Greek life, sorority. You want to talk about like that? that? We can jump right into that. Okay, let's do it. A question that Sarah heard the other day was, do yeah. you need to be in Greek life in order to make friends? Definitely. And I'll let you have some, like you start that one off. I'll just say for myself, mm -hmm. I felt like I needed to, which is why I rushed to sorority. And my mom almost said like, oh, like, I don't know if like, we're gonna pay for you to be in the sorority, like you might have to work. And I literally freaked out because I was like, no mom, you don't understand. Everyone's you in a sorority. Said exactly that. True. You don't understand, mom. Like, it's either sorority or it's not. Like, continue. So, yeah, that's it. So, you, so do you need friends? Yeah. Or do you need to be in Greek life to make friends? This Sarah? is such a huge one that I did have one of my cute girlfriends ask me because she's going to UF. And you, the vibe is like, you feel like you're going to miss out big time mm -hmm. if you do not do Greek life. And it's serious. Like, I'm nobody can judge you for mm -hmm. being like, mom. We have to yeah, tap into the savings to do sorority. Yeah. Cause you feel like if you don't do Greek life at UF, or at least you're thinking, I'm gonna miss out it feels like on that. what it's like yeah. to be a gator in Greek life. And the answer guys, I'm being, we would not lie to you. Caitlin did the sorority, we'll, we're not gonna lie to you right now. The answer is definitely no. I was not friends with any sorority people Except for, me. Except for you. And I'm not saying on purpose either. My, mm -hmm. the, It just didn't, like, there wasn't whatever. Everybody you meet, most people you meet are not in Greek life. Yeah. And that's what I was surprised to find. The people that I've met, so cool, so happy, so involved in school, so social. And not many of them were involved in Greek life. There is so many, most people are not involved in Greek life. It is like a certain demographic. Mm -hmm. And that's not just from your experience. Another statistic. 13% yeah. in Greek life oh, you have. There you go. 50,000 kids. Literally, because it is such a slim demographic. When you're in the Greek life world, it then feels everything. Big. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Then everything feels so like Greek life is everywhere. But mm -hmm. when you're outside of it, we're all, we are all living the life mm -hmm. out here. And that's because Greek life really at UF, at least, you can, you should speak about this. You have so many videos about mm -hmm. it, but still, why not talk about it here? The reality is what well, you're paying for to be a part of this house, you're being a p paying to be a part of a, a sorority, like the, uh, what's the name of the ch a chapter? a chapter? Like you are into this group, right? And you're paying to be a part of this group. And like, so now all the girls have to be socializing and stuff. And other than that, you are paying for events in which all these events are filled with alcohol and like hooking up. That's really it. A lot of alcohol. Yeah, like a lot, I mean, I guess it depends on the sorority that you join, but definitely from my experience, like the main things that you're paying for is like parties, 
and just like drinking related things, there is like sisterhood and bonding. At, in some sororities, 100,000% yes. Well, and even in like the drinking sororities, what I'm saying is there's like sisterhood events and stuff like that. And some people make like a ton of friends in a sorority. Yep, I have friends who love their sororities. Mm -hmm. Me, I met like three or four really awesome girls and we kind of clicked up and then everyone else in my sorority, like I never really connected with much. Like we were all just like acquaintances and like, it was fun. So it wasn't like the perfect, like I had 300 sisters. So yeah. you can definitely have an amazing social yes. life and not being Greek life. Yes. I was a little duped with that. Yes. And you want to know the piece of this I'll give you to like help com uh, compromise with you is this is what I told the girlfriend. I said, do this at least. Don't rush your first year. And if you feel like you're missing out sophomore year, rush. If you feel like you've missed out big time, and I can almost promise you by the time you're done with freshman year, you're not going to feel like you missed out big time on the sorority life. You're going to see that if you got went to all these things, you have already a whole life going on. It's just going to feel hard like the first week when you move in, like when everyone's yes. rushing. Because a lot of people do rush. Like yes. most of the people in your dorm are probably rushing or it feels like. So you might have FOMO that week, but after that, Instagram. like it all kind of fizzles out. Yeah, it's so true. It's not easy. Like we're not, you have to be tough mm -hmm. and just trust that not everything that glitters on Instagram is truly gold. Yep. Next up, let's talk about UF culture. Yeah. What it, What is the environment like at UF? UF is a very competitive school. It's an amazing school. It's a great school. It's top five. Love it. Summer three, I think. Yeah. I haven't checked on that recently, but it's definitely, it's up there. Number three. Everyone at UF is very smart because in order to get into UF, you have to be really smart. So you may have come from a school where you felt like you were like the smartest person in your friend group and like the best eight grades and like had the best resume and stuff. So like you're going to show up to a school that basically has like 50,000 versions of you in that sense. You're special though. You're special, but it's going to feel like sometimes like, dang, everyone is so smart. I thought that I had like this direction and career and stuff like that. And now yeah. I feel really lost because I just feel average. Oh yeah. Like that might happen to For you sure. and that's totally normal because the environment is super like everyone is super driven like UF is definitely a more academic school mm -hmm. than some other schools like people there are smart yes yes there's like parties and stuff which we'll touch on that but people do care about their they grades. Do. They care about their future. Internships, resumes, mm -hmm. they're doing it. And UF cares about that for you too. Yeah. There is opportunities on opportunities for you to be successful. They push success yeah. and drive and good grades. So like some comparison might creep in. That's just kind of like a piece of what like the vibe is at UF. Like everyone is strong and driven. So good influences, but comparison can creep in as yeah. well. And then on a general level, what I think the environment is like on top of what Caitlin mm -hmm. said is is very independent like yeah when you're in high school you think like everyone's looking at you and stuff but you get to uf and really like all walks of life are there you have people in their 40s walking around on campus <laughs> doing school you've got professors walking around you've got kids who like are freshmen and then you have kids who are like third year senior like you have people who've transferred three times like you have all walks of life there is no right way to mm -mm. like do it because right ways to please somebody else and nobody on campus like has like is looking at each other it's very like there's still comparison like yeah. everything Caitlin said but like the weird thing is no one's judging you no one's judging you that's why like when we were talking about how you dress like when you get into UF and like when you're walking around as a student you'll notice like it's people dress so differently there's all different cultural looks like it's so independent you just feel like an adult there because mm -hmm. it's like you put on whatever you want to wear you eat alone like everybody else is doing that everyone's got their own path their own direction no one's watching you you can do what you want Yes, exactly. So it's a very like adult feeling campus, even though of course you have your typical like freshmen on campus, sophomores, juniors, sorority, like these clubs, these clubs, and it's typical college, but at the same time in general, very independent and adult feeling like university, honestly. Because it's such a big school. There's yeah. 50,000 students there. There's just so many people, even in your classes, you might have like people in your classes and then next year like you don't see and I've had a grandma in my class wow you had a lot I didn't have as many experiences you got a lot of older people I don't know what you're talking where are you seeing these mythical gator grandmas it was an online class alright I had a grandma in my class very independent
mentioned it. <laughs> it's true though, it is. So yeah, we just mentioned something about partying. Do I need to go out and drink to have a social life? My first year of college, I partied a lot. I have a video on my testimony that was kind of part of how I came to mm -hmm. know God, things like that. I did the going out life, and then I did not the going out life. In my last two years of college, I stopped. Although we went out, just not the way you're thinking. Yeah, when I'm saying going out, I mean going to bars and drinking yeah. and partying. Was it hard? Yes. Like, was it harder to make friends? Yes. But that's because I was in Greek life and that was the main way that people were having fun. Mm -hmm. If you find people like from an intramural sport or from like a team that you're on yeah. where your common interest is not just drinking, you will have a wonderful social so life. True. UF has so many diverse groups of people. So many. Like there are so many amazing things you can get involved with on campus, so many groups of people to meet. Yeah. You do not have to be drinking and going out every weekend yeah. in order to have a bunch of friends and a good yeah. social life. You'll actually have a much better social life High key. When, you, when you invest in the right people in the right places, you will actually get an amazing experience. So it's that's my so, answer. It's so true. And you said the reason, like it all depends on the people's interests. Mm -hmm. And um, clearly, like in certain places, the interest is to be like drinking and like doing that kind of social life. Literally at UF, we're not kidding. Like I remember the first two weeks of sophomore year or junior year starting, and I went to this to the gymnasium. It was the first three weeks, and it was tables with just like all sorts of club sports. And bro, UF is just amazing. Like every student there is so like hardcore, like mm -hmm. dedicated, and it makes things fun. So like I. There was this every kind of sport, every kind of sport. Go, like go to those kinds of things because it is not like um, you're a little high school thing if you went to like a cheap high school where they say they're gonna throw this thing and you get there and it's lame. Like UF does everything mm -hmm. well. And so you get to the this gymnasium, the gymnasium and there's tables everywhere, all sorts of sports with passionate students. And so I joined the club flag football. Yo, those girls are hardcore. They like, it was basically like, felt like a D1 flag football team. like. Mm -hmm because they traveled to different states, like they did the hardcore practices, all the things. And imagine if I was really interested in that there, I had my girls of 30, 40, 50 girlfriends mm -hmm. right, right there. Right that's just one social circle. And then imagine I go to church and then I start going to their like Wednesday night or Thursday night like mm -hmm. hangouts. So much, and honestly, it's so much more fun. And in Gainesville, honestly, I remember when I first came and visited um, before I transferred there, I was surprised that the club, like, social life was not, per personally, I didn't think it was as big as I thought it was going to be. Like, it really is just, like, downtown Gainesville and then the strip, like, midtown. It's not a lot. Yeah, it's not, I don't like, think so. like, when you compare it to FSU, FSU is a true, like, party school. Yeah. Now, if you're going to FSU, you can make friends outside of that. But, yes. like, UF is not a typical party school. Like, there's not as much of a scene yes. as you would expect. All that to say, so the people partying at UF, in my opinion, like, they're just really, like, squeezing the life out of what little there is. Like, I think there's a lot more than just like all the party stuff. There's so much like deep community and fun memories to be had. But obviously no judgment if that's what you think you wanna like try out. We're always here for you on this channel. We're not judging you, that's for sure, because we all are walking this life. And yeah, we're all accountable for our choices at the end of the day. Yeah, and drinking come is gonna come up. Like it's college, any like, like typical college, like you're gonna find drinking situations. The yeah. point we're making is just like, you do not need to do that yeah, in order to, to have, have a rich social mm -hmm. life. And rich, in fact, yeah. you will have a deeper social life if you choose to invest your time and your energy in other ways. Yes. Last one, we're gonna do a juicy one for the last one. Yeah. It's about relationships and dating. I'm just gonna read you the question. Am I going to get into a relationship? Are guys there looking for girlfriends or vice versa? Are the girl girls there looking for a serious relationship? What's the dating scene like? Guys, comment below. Are you looking for a girlfriend? Yeah, <laughs> give us survey says. I, I personally remember meeting guys and girls who, guys were just focused in academics or like just mm -hmm. not looking for relationships and some of the girls would say the same things. Now, getting involved in church uh, on like in Gainesville, that changed the game. Like then there was people, men, who were much more intentional and in wanting to get to know women to potentially date them. So it really does depend on the crowd that you're hanging out. For example, if you're hanging around the fraternity guys, I don't know if they're gonna wanna just be in a relationship. They're not. There you go. So it depends 
on the circles that you are involved in. If you are hanging around people who view everything as casual, don't know if they're gonna wanna get into relationship. Like Sarah's saying, the trend in our culture is tending to be more casual, so that's typically just what you're gonna start to find in our generation, sadly. At UF, yeah, most of the guys I met my freshman year were not at all interested in being in a relationship, and that has something to do with the circles that I was hanging around because I was with a lot of people that just were going out mm -hmm. and partying. So like that scene typically is more casual mm -hmm. about those things. Obviously, like there's just, UF is such a big school. So there's different circles, but yes. going with the culture of everyone being like super driven and hardworking, that is a good point that a lot of people are just like focused on school, yeah. focus on getting into law school, medical school, those things. I mean, that is like, yeah. A genuine thing so it's not it's not bad like yeah you could find someone but definitely is everyone like trying to get married like no that's no. not not at UF. not at uf at my school i went to freshman year southeastern university that was a different story definitely for definitely. better or for worse mm -hmm. yeah so i think we're gonna have to do a part two we have to do a part two guys we were supposed to talk about the gym we we're supposed to talk about what frat guys are like we were supposed to talk about making friends. I'm just reading off of our and list. Cooking, cooking. How, what did you eat there? Like, yeah, like so classes. Much, so we didn't much. talk about classes. We didn't talk about what a typical day was like. So, like, you have to share this with your friends if you want a part two. We will only do a part two if there's a million views. <laughs> <laughs> Let's shoot for 10,000. 10,000 views. Part two, get okay. out, baby. If you want a part two, comment your burning questions. Literally. Share this with three people that are going to college, either at the University of Florida or another big school. Yeah. And you guys, like, have a group discussion about this. Like, yep. it'll be fun. Like, just watch together, like a movie. Yes. Yes. Please subscribe to this channel, to this friend group. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Oh, real, real, real.